You, you probably need to have at least five points, and you certainly need a good, strong five five card suit. You can mention the second the second suit. Okay. Definitely four suit again. All right. Let's just continue across here. Same bidding sequence. Here you have three points and four spades. What would you do with that? Yeah, four, four spades, you have three points. Your partner has at least 22. You have four spades. Four spades? Yeah. Four spades. Shows good, good trump support, but bad hand. Okay. How about, how about um, this one? Two diamonds. Well, the bidding is gone. Oh, oh, it's gone. Two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, and you're going to lose it. Oh, that's, that's three clubs. That's the second negative. You have nothing. You bid three clubs. Proceed at your own risk. Okay, now if you, the, your partner rebids spades there, you can pass that. You can pass three of the major suits. You've already told him you have nothing. He just took it back to his suit because that's where he wants to play. And you're done. You don't take any game there. Okay, how about here? He said three spades and you've got four, but you don't have any points. You told him. Yeah, he said, I've got a powerful hand. He says, okay, tell me more about it. He says, okay, I've got some spades. You say, well, that's wonderful, but I don't have anything. Any points? Not yet. Two or you have zero, one, or two. That's what you told him. He says, okay, let's play three spades. Okay. He's not going to leave it in the clubs. He's going to go back to his space suit. <laughs> and so after he takes it back to his space suit, you pass. You've already described the hand. If he bids four spades, even though you have one or two points, you say, Okay, I guess you know what you're doing. But you can pass three spades here. How about this one? Seven, you have five, six four, points, four and spades, three spades. Three spades, four spades, three yeah. spades. Yeah, you, you could bid four spades. If you want to be a little aggressive, you could bid three. And unless he's very aggressive, you just immediately go back to four spades. This one, though, you definitely want to bid three spades because you have nine points. So in this, this instance, you bid three spades, say, tell me more about your hand. He now knows you have eight, nine, ten plus points, and we'll go through there. All right. So you see how that works? Mm -hmm. And the responder is in control in most instances. Okay. Let's do this. This is sort of interesting, I think. Any questions on that? <laughs> I think the most important thing to get tied down, it's pretty easy to, to see when you have a two club open the end. You pick it up and go, wow, that's cool. All right? And so you get two clubs and a smiling grin and your partner says, I could have figured as much because I only got one point. <laughs> so, so the responder's role in, in many ways is more important. It's certainly more so hard. difficult. So what I would highly recommend, get in the habit of getting two diamonds waiting unless you have this very specific exception. And by the way, if clearly, if as the responder you did something other than two diamonds, that's forcing the game. All right, and you can go <coughs> slow. There's no reason to jump around and you know jump and stuff because you know you have to. So if you bid a suit here, it's, it's forcing the game. The two club bid in and of itself is forcing at least to two no trump or three of the major suit. Okay. okay, so let's bid a couple of hands all the way through. So here's the opener's hand, and here's the responder's hand. Okay, just look at it. I'm going to bid, I'm going to bid, oh, I'll bid. So you're the opener, what are you going to open? Two clubs. Two clubs. Two clubs. Yeah, two clubs, right? This person passes, and you're the responder. What are you going to do? Two diamonds. Two diamonds. Two diamonds waiting, right? Mm -hmm. Two diamonds that say anything about your diamond suit or the number of points you have. It simply says, partner, tell me more about your hand. So you're the partner. And what more are you going to tell? Two, 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 two
two no trap. You don't have a five card suit, so you get two no trap, which defines your hand into a very narrow range. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. How many points do you have? Twelve. Oh. Oh. Twelve, right? Twelve. So you go to three. Four, 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 which one is it? Four, six, four, six, four, six, you have Your partner four, has four, 22 four, at least. Uh -huh. you, have 12. you have 12. High card points. We're talking about no six, three, six, nine, twelve. Six, nine, twelve. Twelve and twenty-two equals? How many do you need for a small slam? Do you have a chance for a grand slam? Do you have is there a possibility that you have all the well, if he, if he has 24, you're one short. And you have 12, that's 36. You're one short. So you bid six no trump. You have, you, have the, you have the points, so you bid it. There's no reason to ask him. If you ask him, if you ask him with four no trump and he has 22 points, what's he going to do? He's going to pass, right? You know you have the slam, so bid it. It's just like if you know you have game. Bid it or keep the bidding going with forcing bids until you get there. So okay. four no trump is not forcing. Yeah, I thought that's asked the phrase. Four no trump in, in the instance here is an invitation to bid. Okay, let's just. But not mandatory. No. So forget about this hand for a second. The bidding goes two clubs, pass, two diamonds, two no trump. If this person bids four no trump, he has eight to 11 points. But he's not asking. He's saying, partner, if you have the high end, depending on what his number is, if you have, if he's got 11, you got it. He's an 8 to 10. So this, this right here says, partner, if you have the high end of your bid, 24, bid 6. If you have the low end, pass. If you're in the middle, you decide. Okay? Because... You may have enough points for your six no truck bid, but you don't know. You could also have not enough. If he only has 22, and let's say you have 10, that's not 33 points. So this is an invitational bid that can be passed. So there is no bid that asks for aces. Then. Well, that's a completely different thing. That's the Blackwood Convention. It has nothing to do with this. Okay, that's simply a quantitative bid. Like when you bid one no trump and then your partner says two no trump, your partner's saying I have eight or nine points. Should we be a three no trump or stop for two no trump? It's exactly the same thing, only at a higher level. Okay. The Blackwood Convention, the four no trump Blackwood, and this is a different subject, but it is asked for aces and it's over a suit contract bid. So if you think you have the, the original stoppers you need. And then you in the use the group or the no trump, right? Use the Let's don't go there. All right. Now, now, let's look at this next one. Where's my? Okay. Well, get your. I want you to get on your thinking caps here. Okay, here's your hand. Ten, fifteen. What do we have? 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. Right. I've been too close with that. First of all, you have one team. loser there, two, you have five losers, but you have 10, 15, 20, 21, and 22 blocks. Okay? Does everyone see that? Yes. All right, so I'm over that two clubs. All right? Pass. Two diamonds waiting. Is that what you want to do? You have nine points. Three diamonds. I think I'd be three diamonds. I have eight or more points. I have a five card suit, and I have two of the top three honors. Right? Two of the top three honors and nine points. Three diamonds. You just gave your partner a whole bulk of it. Everyone see that? Yes. Pat, what do you get? Four spades. Four spades. So you have 
I like your suit, Mark. What do you do? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Blend, blend the two hands together, okay? With this four spade bid, he said I have three, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to win one, two, three, four, five, six spade tricks for sure. Unless you get a, there's no way you can lose them. Even if one person has the other five, you're going to win six spade tricks. How many diamond tricks are you going to win? What did he promise you with his bid? Five. He's got five diamonds and the king and the queen, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? You're going to win five diamonds, right? All right. That's 11 tricks. And you're going to win that card, right? Okay. What do you need to know? You asked me about black what? Four no trump. How many aces do you have? That's what the four no trump. This is Blackwood asking for aces. That's different because we are in a suit. You're in, you've already established the suit. The suit is spades. That's understood. Okay. What he wants to know is if you have the ace of of uh, hearts. Because guess what? If he does? Seven no. Exactly. Oh, Pass. Seven? What's the proper response here? I thought it was in the uh, spades. Five or four hearts. Wait a minute. Five hearts. Five hearts. You have one. Five. Yeah, Does everyone know Blackwood? Have you used Blackwood? No. Okay, we'll do, we'll go over that in a minute real quickly. I'll just five give you a quick question on that. It's the, if you have one, the response is, is five diamonds. Zero is five clubs, one is five diamonds, two is five hearts, three is Well, he knows you've got zero or one because he's got the other three. That's correct. All he cares about is that. So he's, he knows he's either going to get pure five clubs or five diamonds. He just hit the jackpot because you just told him you have the ace of hearts. Pass. What do you bid right here? Seven no trump. Seven no trump. Oh, seven no trump. I'd have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Now, if he, had, if he hadn't have had that, what would you do? Wait a minute. Are you six saying no trump? Because he would have a lose. No, there's no lose. I'll, I'll show you. Six spades. Pick a lead. Somebody say a lead. Let's say they need a heart. It's probably what they're going to leave because they have a bunch of them, right? So they leave the king of hearts. This guy's sitting here with the king, queen, jack, and six more hearts or something. Yeah. Yeah. So he leaves the king of hearts. And you take it. That's one trick. Now what do you do? You, you, you cash six spades. You cash five diamonds. One, two, three, four, five. And you cash the ace of club. That's 13 tricks. I just made seven. It's impossible not to make a club. They just wiped out their hands. Yeah. <laughs> Now this, this is an interesting one. I, I like this, but th this shows how the information is so critical. If he bid, if he bid the di three diamonds and didn't have the king, he'd have been lying. He would have been seven no trump. They would have gone down, and they would have gotten a fight if they were going to do together. <laughs> so just remember, or remember in all of these big situations. It's, it's a conversation. You're, you're transferring information to your partner. Okay, partner, I have 22 points. Okay, uh, tell me more about your hand. Okay, I have some spades. Well, that's cool. I don't have any points at all. Well, I don't care. I have enough spades to make it on my own. Whatever. All of this is a conversation back and forth. You need to listen to what your partner says. If there's interference, they're telling you things too. If it goes, um, actually, I put a little thing. It's a and it's down there. I'm not going to go over it, but sometimes, yes. Well, that last one, you only had five of the minor of the diamonds. Right. So I thought you said you'd like to have six. I, I do. Okay. But this is a strong enough hand yeah. that you can bid it. Okay. I think it's fine. Five is fine. Okay. All right. Down here, if there's interference, you can just read through that. I don't want to do it. But sometimes there'll be interference. Now, let's, don't worry about that right now. Let's just go. You know, if you open up a heart and your opponent bids three diamonds, what do you what do you know? I got nine, eight points. 
They have between five and ten points, and they have seven diamonds. He just described his hand to you, and to your partner, and to his partner. So listen to what people did. Okay. All right, this, we've got a few minutes. I'll do a real quick uh, explanation of Blackwood. Any questions on any of this? Okay, Blackwood is a convention. And what is a convention? Artificial bid. An artificial bid. It's a bid that doesn't mean what it would mean naturally. Like your two club bid, the Stamen two club bid, doesn't say anything about clubs. It's a conventional bid. So is it. So is it. Okay? All right, Blackwood asked for aces. And it's a bid of four no trump over a suit contract. So before you ever bid for no trump, you're asking how many aces your partner has. That's what it does. I'll show you how it works. The suit contract must be established or at least implied. You have to know what the trump suit's going to be. Right? So you, your bid, you bid, let's say the bidding goes one spade, pass, two hearts, pass, three spades, pass, four spades. And this guy's holding a real strong hand. Okay? And you support a spade, you've two hearts, he knows you have at least ten points and five hearts, right? So you've decided now, maybe we have slam, but you're, you're missing the heart ace and the diamond ace, let's say. And if, so you bid four no trump, which says, partner, how many aces do you have? It's asking a question. Partner, how many aces do you have? And you're, you, as the responder, I did this wrong, didn't I? Not okay. Five clubs. Zero or four? Zero it's, it's, it's There's one. Oh, no. no. Zero or four? Why are you going to zero? Zero or four. It could be four also. Yeah, because normally you don't initiate Blackwood unless you, you have yeah, yeah. a few aces. Yeah. Okay. So there's your response. Five, so you bid four no trump, your partner bids heart, saying a two. Five, and so now you know if you have the other two, you have all four aces, then you can see how many losers you have, and you can uh, bid slam or not. If, if you need at least one and he doesn't come up with one, you probably stop at five spades. You're going to have to bid that. You can carry it further, and by the way, you don't go further unless you have all four aces between the two hands. This asks for kings. So once you know you have all four aces, you do the same thing asking for kings. The same response is at six level. How do you handle a void? You generally don't use blackwood with, with a void. Because if they hit the ace in a suit that you avoid in, it may or may not bid any value to you. There's some other bids that you can use with that. But if you have a void, you generally should not use black wheat, at least not in this matter. Well, if you don't know what your partner has a void or not. Well, if your partner has a void, it's irrelevant okay. to the realm. Well, it's going to be helpful to you. But yeah. what you're concerned with here is aces. And don't initiate Blackwood if once you have the information, it does you no good. You have to know, all right. If she's got one ace, then I can comfortably bid six spades. If she has two aces, I for sure can bid six spades, and maybe seven if she has some kings. But once you have the information, if you still don't know, what good does it do to ask the question? Okay, just don't just don't use four no trump because maybe we're in slam. What was reason why the kind of interesting you were saying? Black would necessarily you don't use black would necessarily. You should go to slam, but it will tell you when not to go to slam. Well, it'll, it'll definitely do that, and it may give you the information you need. Okay, like for instance, mm -hmm. that hand we had up here, mm -hmm. that the hand that we went to seven no trump, the information the opener needed to know was: Does my partner have the ace of hearts? That's what he wanted to know. And either way, yes or no, it answered the question, and then he knew where to go after that. Okay. okay. If whether or not the ace of hearts was there 
was irrelevant to him, he wouldn't ask the question. There's no, no reason to. He just elevated the, the bidding. Okay. okay, that was real quick, but I just wanted you to get familiar with it. All right, so let's take a break. We have some hands, so as you can guess, we're going to have some points. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye